Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there we can see we have a damped LC circuit. It tells us it loses the energy 3.5% per circle, right? As it tells you the quantity is L and C. Ask you to find the value for R. As we look at this uh, problems, we can say first tell us the energy loses, right, from the electric energy to the thermal energy. So energy loses, this is under damped oscillations. So that means the charges, the current changes with time t. You can look at the equation in our test book. We know the charges changes with the time t, right, in this function. So there we have the term E negative r over 2lt, this is tell us it under damped oscillations. And in this function, we also know the phi is a constant, there we can take it as zero, this is the initial phase. And the t and the omega is called angular velocity, so 2 pi over t, right? And now we can see, now we can work on it together at zero. Um, first one, we need to write down the electromagnetic energies in the LC circuit, right? So then we can determine how it loses energy. So as this one tells us, it is Q squared divided by 2C. So we input the Q inside. We look at it, it looks like this one, right? And so at initial, T equal to zero. So T equal to zero, this is cosine zero equal to one. And the E, zero. So if t equal to zero, so e zero is one, right? So very easily we can get initial electromagnetic energy, E not zero. Now it tells us this is after one circle. So now the time t equal to the period t. So we can see this period is capital T. We input the t equal to period inside. And we can see this become cosine 2 pi, cosine 2 pi as 1, so 1 squared is 1. And this term, we keep it as negative RT divided by L, right? R capital T divided by L. Now, we can look at the uh, hint it gave us is the electromagnetic energy loses 3.5%. So we can see the delta E is the loses a percent, right? See, so it tells us negative 0 0.035. So we use the final energy minus initial energy divided by initial energy. We get it there. Now we input the functions for E and E naught. And then we simplify it. It looks like this one, right? Now we need to solve the L in this equation. But what we don't know, we don't know time t, right? The function for t. So for t is easy, we can look uh, check our test book, and then we can get in the LC second, it is this one, right? 2 pi divided by omega, this one. And then from this equation, see, from this equation, we can solve it, get the term RT divided by L with a constant. Now you input the T inside, you get the function look like this one. And this part. Solve it, you get a final answer, R as 1.4 ohms. Thank you.